Chicago and strong winds also causing concerns for homeowners with trees in their yards. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in Northeast El Paso where she spoke with a homeowner having her trees removed today and Shelby I can see that wind is just so strong out there. I know, Natasha. I'm having to close my eyes right now. Thankfully, my back is to this wind gust right now, but it is a so strong. You are looking at the back side of the Franklin Mountains there. Go ahead and take a look. You can hardly see them because of all of this blowing dust out here right now and these just huge wind gusts. You know, they've been on and off throughout the afternoon and evening, but they really just picked up even more right now. But go ahead and take a look over here. You can see these trees in this front yard and earlier today there were actually crews out here trying to get these trees down because the homeowner was concerned. The homeowner says the trees have always been in her front yard for over 30 years. She's lived here and in the past branches have fallen off during heavy winds and recently she's become more and more concerned the trees may damage her home. We're having our three big trees removed completely because of the strong winds that come down from up the mountain and since we're down going down Sometimes we can hear the, the trees just shifting and I, I'm, I'm so afraid that they're going to just land on my roof. The tree removal company R&M says it's important to have your trees pruned and if you see that they are dead, you should have them removed to avoid having them fall on your home when we have these very strong winds like we're having right now. Now this tree removal service actually had to leave because they said it was too dangerous for them to continue being up in those trees trying to get it down when we're seeing these huge wind gusts out here in Northeast El Paso. Reporting live from Northeast El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.